Lesson 1, Regular Exercise is Key for a Balanced Lifestyle. Regular exercise is key for a balanced lifestyle. I couldn't agree more, John. It keeps us healthy and energized. What types of exercise do you enjoy, Anna? I love going for runs and practicing yoga. Running is great for cardio, and yoga helps with flexibility, right? Exactly. It's a good combination for overall fitness. I struggle to find time for exercise. Any tips? Start with short workouts and gradually increase the duration. That sounds doable. I'll aim for consistency rather than long sessions. That's a smart approach, John. Small steps lead to big results. What about motivation? How do you stay motivated? Setting goals, tracking progress, and finding a workout buddy help. Maybe we can be workout buddies, Anna. It would be fun. I'd love that, John. We can keep each other accountable. Do you have any funny exercise stories to share? Well, once during a yoga class, I accidentally toppled over. Ha ha! That must have been quite a balancing act. It was embarrassing, but we all had a good laugh. Laughter is a great way to make exercise enjoyable. Definitely. It adds an element of fun to the workout. I'll try to incorporate more laughter into my exercise routine. That's the spirit, John. Enjoyment is key. Any advice for avoiding exercise burnout? Listen to your body and take rest days when needed. Rest days sound like heaven. I'll make sure to include them. It's important to give your body time to recover and recharge. I appreciate your guidance, Anna. You're a fitness guru. Haha, <laughs> not quite, John. Just sharing what I've learned. Well, your knowledge is valuable. Thank you for sharing it with me. My pleasure, John. Here's to a balanced and active lifestyle. Cheers, Anna. Let's stay fit and have fun along the way. Lesson 2. Are their prices competitive? That's great. Are their prices competitive? Absolutely. They offer the best prices in town. I'm always looking for good deals. Where can I find them? Their store is just around the corner. It's hard to miss. Excellent. I'll make sure to check it out soon. You won't be disappointed. Their prices are unbeatable. I'm excited to see what they have to offer. They have a wide range of products to choose from. That's perfect. I need to stock up on a few things. You'll find everything you need at affordable prices. It's good to know I can save some money while shopping. Saving money is always a bonus, John. Enjoy your shopping. Thanks, Anna. I'll let you know how it goes. Looking forward to hearing about your great finds. You'll be the first to know. Have a wonderful day, Anna. You too, John. Happy shopping. Lesson 3. How about practicing your delivery? That's great. How about practicing your delivery? 
It's important to be confident when communicating. You're right. Any tips for improving delivery skills? Start by speaking slowly and clearly to convey your message effectively. I tend to rush my words. Slowing down will make a difference. Practice in front of a mirror to observe your body language. Mirror practice sounds funny, but I can see how it helps. It does. You can make adjustments and build confidence. Are there any exercises to boost confidence in public speaking? Visualize success and imagine yourself delivering a great speech. So, I can be a confident speaker in my imagination first? Absolutely. It helps build a positive mindset. I'll give it a try. Confidence is key in delivering a message. And don't forget to maintain eye contact with your audience. Eye contact can be intimidating, but I'll work on it. Start with small groups and gradually increase your comfort level. That's a good progression plan. I'll take it step by step. Also, embrace your unique style and be authentic in your delivery. Embracing my quirks might make it more interesting. Exactly. It adds personality to your communication. I appreciate your advice, Anna. It's valuable for my growth. My pleasure, John. You'll become a confident communicator in no time. Thanks, Anna. I'm ready to polish my delivery skills. I have no doubt you'll shine, John. Good luck. Thanks, Anna. Your support means a lot to me. Lesson 4. What's your favorite cuisine? I love food. What's your favorite cuisine, Anna? I enjoy Italian cuisine. Pasta and pizza are my go-to dishes. Italian food is delicious. I can't resist a good pizza. Same here, John. A cheesy pizza is hard to say no to. Speaking of pets, do you have any? Yes, I have a pet cat named Whiskers. She's adorable. Cats are great companions. I have a dog named Max. Dogs are so loyal and fun to be around. How old is Max? Max is four years old. He's full of energy and mischief. Pets bring so much joy to our lives, don't they? Absolutely. They're like family members. By the way, what's your favorite food, John? Hmm, that's a tough one. I love a good burger with all the toppings. Burgers are a classic choice. They're juicy and satisfying. I agree, Anna. Nothing beats a perfectly grilled burger. Have you ever tried making your own burgers at home? Yes, I've experimented with different toppings and sauces. That's awesome. Homemade burgers are the best. Do you enjoy cooking, Anna? I do. I find it relaxing and rewarding to prepare meals. Any signature dish you're known for? I make a mean lasagna. It's a family recipe passed down to me. I'd love to try your lasagna someday, Anna. It sounds amazing. You're welcome anytime, John. I'll whip up a batch for you.
Thanks, Anna. I'm looking forward to it. Food and pets make life more enjoyable, don't they? Absolutely. They bring happiness and warmth to our lives. Cheers to good food and furry friends, John. Cheers, Anna. Here's to a delicious and pet-filled life. Lesson 5. Did you have any language barriers during your trip? Did you have any language barriers during your trip? Not really. Most people spoke English. That's convenient. Did you try learning any local language? Yes, I tried to learn some basic Portuguese. How did it go? Was it challenging? It was a bit challenging, but I managed to pick up a few phrases. That's impressive. Can you teach me some Portuguese? Sure. Obrigado means thank you and por favor means please. Obrigado. I'm already learning. Any other useful phrases? Bom dia means good morning and disculp means sorry. Bom dia. Disculp, I'm still a beginner. No worries, John. Practice makes perfect. Did the locals appreciate your effort to speak their language? Yes, they appreciated it and were helpful in correcting my pronunciation. It's always nice to make an effort to connect with the locals. Absolutely. It adds a personal touch to the travel experience. Did you have any funny language mishaps? Well, once I accidentally ordered octopus instead of calamari. Oh no! That must have been quite a surprise. It was, but I embraced the adventure and tried something new. That's the spirit, Anna. Embracing mishaps is part of the journey. Exactly. It's all about embracing new experiences, even the funny ones. I'm inspired to learn a new language now. Any tips for beginners? Start with basic phrases, practice regularly, and don't be afraid to make mistakes. I'll keep that in mind. Learning a new language sounds exciting. It definitely is, John. Enjoy the journey and have fun with it. Thanks, Anna. I appreciate your language tips and stories. You're welcome, John. Happy language learning. Thank you, Anna. I'm ready to explore new linguistic horizons. Lesson 6. Have you ever attended any conferences? Have you ever attended any conferences, Anna? Yes, I've attended a few conferences in my field. That's cool. Did you find them helpful? Absolutely. Conferences are great for networking and learning. I should consider attending some conferences too. It's a good idea, John. You can gain valuable insights and make connections. How about joining professional groups? Joining professional groups is beneficial too. What are the advantages of joining such groups? You can stay updated with industry trends and collaborate with peers. That sounds like a great way to expand my professional network. Indeed, John. You can also access resources and attend exclusive events. 
Are there any funny incidents you've experienced at conferences? Well, once I mistook a stranger for a keynote speaker. Ha ha! That must have been an interesting conversation. It was, but I quickly realized my mistake and had a good laugh. Conferences seem like a mix of learning and fun moments. They definitely are, John. It's a blend of work and enjoyment. Any tips for making the most out of conference experiences? Plan your schedule, attend relevant sessions, and engage with others. Engaging with others can lead to valuable connections. Exactly. Don't be shy to strike up conversations and exchange contacts. I'll make sure to be proactive and open to new connections. That's the spirit, John. You'll make the most out of conferences. I appreciate your advice, Anna. You're a conference pro. Haha, <laughs> not quite, John. Just sharing what I've learned. Well, your insights are valuable. Thank you for sharing them with me. My pleasure, John. I hope you have fantastic conference experiences. Thanks, Anna. I'm ready to attend conferences and expand my horizons. Lesson 7. Where can I find the insurance desk? Hi, Anna. I need travel insurance. Where can I find the insurance desk? Hi, John. You can usually find the insurance desk at the airport. That's convenient. Is it located near the check-in area? Yes, it's usually located nearby, either in the terminal or a separate counter. Do I need to book travel insurance in advance? It's recommended to purchase it in advance, but you can also get it at the airport. I'll make sure to get it before my trip. Is it expensive? The cost of travel insurance depends on various factors like coverage and duration. I see. I'll compare different plans to find the best one for me. That's a smart approach, John. Make sure to read the terms and conditions too. Will do. Are there any specific documents I need to bring? You'll typically need your passport and travel details for insurance registration. Good to know. I'll have those ready when I visit the insurance desk. Great. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask the insurance agent. I'll make sure to clarify any doubts. Thanks for the advice, Anna. My pleasure, John. Travel insurance provides peace of mind during your trip. Absolutely. It's important to be prepared for any unforeseen circumstances. Indeed, it's better to be safe than sorry. Have a wonderful trip, John. Thank you, Anna. I'll make sure to get the right travel insurance. Lesson 8. I need to get back into a fitness routine. I need to get back into a fitness routine. It's been a while. That's a great goal, John. It's always easier when you have someone to join you. You're right. Would you be interested in being my workout buddy? I'd love to. Let's motivate each other and stay accountable. Perfect. What kind of exercises do you enjoy? I enjoy a mix of cardio and strength training. How about you? 
I prefer cardio exercises like running and cycling. We can incorporate both into our routine for variety. That sounds like a plan. When should we start? How about tomorrow morning? We can kickstart our fitness journey. Tomorrow it is. Should we set specific goals for ourselves? Yes, setting goals will help us stay focused. Let's aim for three workouts per week. Sounds realistic. We can gradually increase the intensity over time. Absolutely. It's important to listen to our bodies and avoid overexertion. Agreed. We don't want any injuries to hinder our progress. And let's not forget to have fun while working out. Definitely. Music and good company will make it enjoyable. We can also try out different classes or workout apps for variety. That's a great idea. Mixing things up will keep us motivated. And if we ever feel demotivated, we can remind each other of our goals. Support and encouragement will be key in this journey. Absolutely, John. Together, we can achieve our fitness goals. I'm excited to embark on this fitness journey with you, Anna. Likewise, John. Let's make it a fun and rewarding experience. Here's to getting fit and healthy. Cheers to that, John. Let's do this. Triple Lesson X. Nine. I'm finding it hard to learn this new skill. I'm finding it hard to learn this new skill, Anna. Don't worry, John. You're doing great. Don't give up. Thanks for the encouragement, Anna. It means a lot. No problem, John. Keep practicing, and you'll get better. I'll try my best. It's just frustrating at times. I understand, but progress takes time. Keep pushing forward. You're right. I'll stay determined and not let setbacks discourage me. That's the spirit, John. Stay positive and keep going. Sometimes I feel like I'm not making any progress. Trust me, John, progress is happening, even if it's not immediately visible. I guess I need to be patient with myself. Absolutely. Rome wasn't built in a day, as they say. Ah, uh, true. I'll remind myself of that whenever I feel impatient. That's a good mindset. Remember, every small step counts. You're right, Anna. I'll celebrate the small victories along the way. That's the way to go, John. Acknowledge your achievements. Your support means a lot to me, Anna. Thank you. I'm here for you, John. We all need encouragement sometimes. Well, you're doing a great job of cheering me on. It's my pleasure, John. We're in this together. With your support, I know I can overcome any challenges. Absolutely. Believe in yourself and keep pushing forward. Thank you, Anna. I'm motivated to keep practicing and improving. That's the spirit, John. I have faith in your abilities. Here's to perseverance and growth. Cheers to that, John. Keep up the great work.
Lesson 10. Can I buy snacks to take on the flight? Can I buy snacks to take on the flight? Of course. There's a convenience store near the departure gate. That's perfect. I'll grab some snacks before boarding. What kind of snacks do you usually enjoy? I like a mix of sweet and salty snacks. You can get a variety of options at the convenience store. Any recommendations for travel-friendly snacks? Granola bars, nuts, and dried fruit are great choices. I'll make sure to grab those. What about drinks? You can buy bottled water or juice at the store too. Good idea. Staying hydrated is important during the flight. Absolutely. It helps prevent jet lag too. Do you have any funny airport snack stories? Well, once I accidentally bought spicy chips and my mouth was on fire. Ha ha! That must have been quite a surprise. It was, but I learned to read labels more carefully after that. I'll keep that in mind. No spicy surprises for me. Wise choice, John. Stick to your snack preferences. I'm excited to have some delicious snacks for the journey. Snacks make the flight more enjoyable, that's for sure. And they can be a great conversation starter too. True. Sharing snacks with a seatmate can lead to interesting conversations. Maybe I'll make a new friend with my snack selection. You never know, John. Snacks have magical social powers. Ha ha. I'll remember that. Snacks are my secret social weapon. Enjoy your snack shopping and have a fantastic flight. Thank you, Anna. Snacks and a smooth journey await me. Bon voyage, John. Safe travels. Lesson 11, let's meet later this week to discuss the details. Sounds like a plan. Let's meet later this week to discuss the details and finalize. I agree, John. Meeting in person would be better than discussing over the phone. How about Thursday afternoon? Does that work for you? Thursday afternoon works for me. What time shall we meet? Let's meet at 2 p.m. That should give us enough time to go through everything. Perfect. Shall we meet at our usual coffee shop? That's a great idea. The ambience there is perfect for discussions. Plus, they have delicious pastries to keep us energized. Ha, huh, I can never resist their pastries. I'll have to hit the gym afterwards. A little indulgence won't hurt. We can always work it off later. True, true. So, what topics do we need to cover during our meeting? We should go over the project timeline, budget, and resource allocation. Let's also discuss any potential challenges and how to address them. Absolutely. It's important to be prepared for any obstacles that may arise. I'll bring my notebook to jot down important points during the meeting. Good idea. We can refer back to our notes later if needed. I'm looking forward to our meeting. It's always productive when we collaborate. 
Likewise, John. Our teamwork has always yielded great results. We make a great team, Anna. Let's make this project a success too. Definitely, John. With our combined expertise, we can accomplish anything. Thank you for being such a reliable and dedicated partner, Anna. The feeling is mutual, John. Together, we can achieve great things. See you on Thursday, Anna. I'll be ready with my ideas and enthusiasm. Can't wait, John. Let's make it a meeting to remember. Lesson 12, I feel overwhelmed by my workload. I feel overwhelmed by my workload. Any suggestions, Anna? Take a deep breath, John. Let's break it down and prioritize. That sounds like a good approach. How do I determine what's most important? Start by identifying urgent tasks and deadlines. Focus on those first. Got it. I'll create a to-do list and mark the high-priority items. That's a great way to stay organized and tackle tasks systematically. What if I still have too much on my plate? Consider delegating tasks or asking for help if possible. I'm hesitant to ask for help, but I'll give it a try. Remember, teamwork can lighten the load and lead to better outcomes. You're right. I shouldn't hesitate to reach out to my colleagues. Additionally, try to manage your time effectively. Set realistic deadlines. Time management has always been a challenge for me. Any tips? Break larger tasks into smaller, manageable chunks. Focus on one at a time. I'll give it a shot. Maybe that will help me feel less overwhelmed. It definitely can, John. Celebrate small victories along the way too. I'll remember to acknowledge my progress as I complete each task. And don't forget to take short breaks to recharge and clear your mind. That's important. I'll make sure to incorporate breaks into my schedule. Lastly, don't be too hard on yourself. Remember, you're doing your best. Thank you, Anna. Your advice and support mean a lot to me. I'm here for you, John. You're capable of handling anything that comes your way. I appreciate your confidence in me, Anna. Let's conquer this workload together. Absolutely, John. We'll tackle it head on and come out stronger. Lesson 13, it's hard to separate work from home sometimes. It's hard to separate work from home sometimes. I understand, John. Setting clear boundaries is important. Any tips on how to establish those boundaries? Designate a specific workspace at home and stick to it. That's a good idea. I'll create a dedicated office area. Make a schedule and define specific work hours too. Right. That way, I can avoid working outside of those hours. Also, communicate with your family about your boundaries. I'll let them know when I need uninterrupted work time. It's important to respect your own boundaries as well. I'll resist the temptation to check work emails during personal time. Good plan. 
Disconnecting from work helps maintain work-life balance. Sometimes it's hard to resist the urge to work non-stop. Remember, taking breaks is essential for productivity and well-being. You're right. I should schedule regular breaks to recharge. And don't forget to engage in activities you enjoy outside of work. Hobbies and leisure time are crucial for maintaining a healthy mindset. Absolutely. Find time for relaxation and self-care. I'll make self-care a priority and indulge in activities I love. That's the spirit, John. Balance is key to a happy and fulfilling life. Thank you, Anna. Your advice has given me a fresh perspective. I'm glad I could help, John. Remember to prioritize your well-being. I will, Anna. Here's to creating a harmonious work-home balance. Cheers to that, John. May your boundaries bring you peace and success. Lesson 14, it should be delivered to your room within 30 minutes. For the order, it should be delivered to your room within 30 minutes. That's a quick delivery time. I hope they're prompt. Me too. I'm really hungry and craving some delicious food. What did you order? Anything special? I ordered a pizza with all my favorite toppings. Yum. Pizza is always a good choice. I couldn't resist. It's my go-to comfort food. I totally understand. Sometimes you just need a cheesy slice. Exactly. And with the fast delivery, I won't have to wait long. That's the best part. Instant gratification. I hope the delivery person finds my room easily. Did you provide clear instructions for them? Yes, I gave them detailed directions to my room. Then they should have no trouble finding you. I can't wait to dig into that warm, gooey pizza. It's going to be a delightful treat, John. I'm already imagining the delicious flavors. Just a little more patience, and it'll be in your hands. I can almost taste it. The anticipation is killing me. It'll be worth the wait, I promise. I hope so. I'm counting down the minutes. Try distracting yourself with something fun while you wait. Good idea. Maybe I'll watch a funny video to pass the time. Laughter is always a great way to distract yourself. You're right. It'll make the wait more enjoyable. Before you know it, your pizza will be at your doorstep. I can't wait for that glorious moment. Pizza, here I come. Enjoy every bite, John. You deserve it. Thanks, Anna. I'll savor every delicious mouthful. Lesson 15, don't forget to enjoy every moment of your vacation. Don't forget to enjoy every moment of your vacation. Absolutely. I plan to make the most of every second. That's the spirit. Any special activities planned? I'll be exploring the local beaches and trying water sports. Sounds like a lot of fun. Don't forget your sunscreen. Sunscreen is my best friend. I'll make sure to apply it generously. 
Good call. No sunburns allowed on your vacation. Definitely not. I want to return with a golden tan, not a lobster look. Ha ha. I'll keep my fingers crossed for your perfect tan. Thank you, John. I'll send you a postcard from Paradise. I'll be eagerly waiting for it. Postcards are always a nice surprise. They have a charm that emails and texts can't match. Absolutely. It's like a little piece of the destination in your hands. I'll also be trying the local cuisine. Can't wait to taste new flavors. Food is one of the best parts of traveling. Enjoy those culinary adventures. I'll be sure to try everything, even if it looks a bit unusual. Embrace the unknown and savor every bite. You're so adventurous. Life is too short not to try new things, right? You're absolutely right, Anna. Carpe diem. Carpe diem indeed, John. I'll seize every moment of this vacation. And don't forget to take lots of photos to capture the memories. Oh, I won't. My camera will be my constant companion. I can't wait to see all the amazing shots you'll capture. I'll make sure to share them with you, John. Get ready to be amazed. I'm excited to see the world through your lens. Have an incredible time. Thank you, John. I'll make this vacation one for the books. Lesson 16, don't forget your face mask and hand sanitizer. Don't forget your face mask and hand sanitizer. Safety first. Absolutely. Can't leave home without them in these times. It's become an essential part of our daily routine. We've all become experts at wearing masks and sanitizing our hands. True, it's become second nature now. And it's important to protect ourselves and others. Couldn't agree more. Let's be responsible and cautious. Safety is our top priority. We can still have fun while being safe. Exactly. It's all about finding the right balance. So, where are we headed today? How about exploring that new hiking trail we heard about? Sounds adventurous. Let's lace up our hiking boots. Don't forget to pack some snacks and water too. Good point. We'll need energy for the trek. And a camera to capture the beautiful scenery along the way. Absolutely. We'll want to remember this hiking experience. Just imagining the fresh air and stunning views gets me excited. Nature has a way of rejuvenating the soul, doesn't it? It definitely does. Let's soak up all the beauty and serenity. And of course, maintain a safe distance from other hikers. Social distancing is still important, even in the great outdoors. Agreed. We'll respect other hikers' personal space. Safety, adventure, and nature, the perfect combination. It's going to be an amazing day. Let's go and make memories. Ready to hit the trail, Anna? Absolutely, John. Let's embark on this adventure together. Mask up, sanitize, and let's go.
We should outline termination clauses in the contract. We should outline termination contract. clauses in the contract. Excellent idea. Let's make sure we cover all the necessary details. Terminations can get messy if not clearly defined. Agreed. We want to avoid any confusion or disputes. How about we start with a clear notice period? That's essential. Both parties should have a reasonable time frame. I suggest a 30-day notice for either party to terminate. Sounds fair. It allows for proper transition and planning. We should also specify the conditions for termination. Absolutely. It should be based on specific circumstances. How about including breach of contract as one of the grounds? Yes, that's crucial. Non-compliance shouldn't be taken lightly. And what about termination due to force majeure events? Great point. We need to address unexpected situations. We can include a force majeure clause to handle those cases. Perfect. It provides clarity and protects both parties. Let's also consider any financial implications of termination. Agreed. We should outline any penalties or reimbursements. And don't forget about confidentiality and non-disclosure. Right. Those provisions should remain even after termination. We're covering all the bases, Anna. This contract will be airtight. Absolutely, John. It's important to have a well-defined agreement. Let's review the termination clauses one more time to be thorough. Good idea. We want to make sure everything is crystal clear. Once we're satisfied, we can finalize the contract. And then we'll have a solid foundation for our business relationship. Thank you for your input, Anna. Your attention to detail is invaluable. Likewise, John. It's a pleasure working together to create a strong contract. Lesson 18, don't forget to buy some fruits. Great. Don't forget to buy some fruits. Of course. I'll make sure to add them to the shopping list. Which fruits do you think we should get? How about some apples, bananas, and oranges? Sounds like a good variety. Maybe some berries too? Definitely. Let's add strawberries and blueberries to the list. Perfect. Now, let's not forget about vegetables. I was just about to mention that. We need our greens. Let's get some lettuce, spinach, and broccoli. Good choices. And how about some tomatoes and bell peppers? Excellent. We can use them for salads and cooking. Don't forget about carrots and cucumbers as well. Right. They're great for snacking and adding crunch to meals. We're building a healthy and colorful shopping list. That's the goal. Let's make sure we have a balanced diet. Absolutely. Fruits and vegetables are essential for our well-being. I'm looking forward to enjoying some fresh produce. Me too. It's always refreshing and tasty. Don't forget to check if we need any herbs or spices too. 
Good point. We can enhance the flavors of our meals. Let's add some basil, parsley, and garlic to the list. Perfect choices. Our dishes will be bursting with flavor. I'm glad we're on the same page when it comes to healthy eating. Definitely. It's important to support each other's well-being. Let's head to the store and make our grocery shopping a fruitful experience. Absolutely. Off to buy some delicious fruits and vegetables. Lesson 19. Can you help me find the supermarket? Excuse me, can you help me find the supermarket? Sure. It's just around the corner on Main Street. Thank you, Anna. I must have missed it. No problem. Happy to assist. Is it a big supermarket with a wide selection? Yes, it's quite spacious and has everything you need. That's great. I have a long shopping list. You'll definitely find everything there. It's well stocked. Do they have a bakery section? Yes, they do. Freshly baked bread and pastries await you. Yum! I can't resist the smell of freshly baked goods. It's hard to resist indeed. Indulge a little. I will, for sure. What about fresh produce? They have a great selection of fruits and vegetables. That's perfect. I need to stock up on healthy options. You'll find a rainbow of colors in the produce section. I'm looking forward to picking out some vibrant fruits and veggies. Don't forget to check out the dairy aisle too. Right. I need to grab some milk and yogurt as well. And if you need any assistance, the staff is friendly and helpful. That's good to know. I appreciate their support. Is there anything else I can help you with? I think I'm all set. Thanks for your guidance, Anna. Anytime, John. Enjoy your shopping trip. I will. See you later, Anna. Take care, John. Have a great day. Lesson 20. There's a ticket office inside the station. Yes, there's a ticket office inside the station. That's convenient. I need to purchase a train ticket. You can also buy tickets from the automated machines. Oh, that's good to know. I'll check out both options. The ticket office might have longer queues though. True. I'll see which one is quicker and more convenient. Do you know which platform the train leaves from? Let me check the departure board. It's platform 3. Great. We still have some time before the train arrives. That's good. I don't want to rush and miss it. Trains can be unpredictable sometimes. I'll make sure to be there with plenty of time to spare. It's always better to be early than late. Absolutely. I don't want to be running to catch the train. Have you packed everything you need for the trip? I think so. I have my luggage and essentials. Don't forget your travel documents and ID. I've double-checked. They're safely in my bag. 
Good. We don't want any last minute panics. Definitely not. Smooth and stress free travel is the goal. Is there anything else I can help you with? I think I'm all set. Thank you for your assistance, John. No problem, Anna. Safe travels and enjoy your trip. Thank you, John. I'll see you when I get back. Looking forward to hearing about your adventures. Take care. Will do. Bye for now, John.